So my next stop is the Delaware Water Gap between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Hey, this is Matt Spies. Thank you for tuning in to Graceful Insight, where I hope you gain a deeper understanding for the reason you're here. After a delicious breakfast, I hit the road. I had a short drive, um, but it was even shorter because I got turned around because the water gap was completely full. I did a circle and I found, another pl found a place to park, but then the police officer told me to leave. So I left, ended up back where I was, and then I left the area, found another place to park, figure out where I needed to go. Uh, contemplated on staying here for a little bit, um, but I ended up leaving, went to the New Jersey side and found a place to park next to, uh, or kind of near the Appalachian Trail. And I was hoping to find a trail that would lead to the Appalachian Trail, but instead it just ended up leading me to this uh, abandoned warehouse type thing. But I did meet this nice girl there who told me about some waterfalls nearby and I knew where she was talking about. So Kona and I headed there and um, played in some waterfalls. Uh, they weren't like amazing or anything, but it was kind of a, like a hidden area and it was pretty neat um, to just be back there kind of by yourself and it was pretty peaceful. Um, you know, not roaring waterfalls or anything, but you could get in and splash around a little bit. And Kona enjoyed it. was a bath because I was filthy and sweaty and sticky. Well, I got a bath in. Uh, it wasn't the prettiest bath, but I'm rinsed off and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, yeah, that river is probably disgusting, but I had four days of hiking on my body that needed to come off. So it took me forever to find a place to just get in some water. Um, which is so crazy, but I found a really nice beach. Uh, it was not dog friendly, so I had to leave that beach. And I found this river instead. Um, Kona is trying to have some fun with the stick. He's getting into a mood a little bit. Um, but I am going to dry off. Uh, Delaware Water Gap super super busy i couldn't even find uh, you couldn't get in it was so busy there were police officers uh making people do loops i was lost um so i just found a uh like overlook scenic spot to park and i found a random trail and i hiked it um i don't know how many miles i went but it was last time i checked i had 15,000 steps so it was a decent hike <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get cleaned up and uh, head to head toward the White House to say hi to Mr. Trump and thank him for my stimulus check. Alright, so pulled over, got something to eat, um, and I am going to try some fast food for the first time in four years. Um, but you might not consider it fast food because give the Impossible Whopper a try. Impossible Whopper is supposedly a vegetarian burger. I don't know. I'll give it a try. Here goes nothing. It tastes like a burger. Today's adventure was pretty frustrating. Um, the Delaware Water Gap was completely packed. Um, you could not come on, leave it. You could not get into. Um, you could not get to the trailhead. Uh, everywhere you went, um, well, there was really only one area to get into, and police were escorting. 
taking people away from there and then you just ended up doing a loop and then you'd end up back there um, so I finally just pulled over and found a like a overlook spot that was not popular because the overlook wasn't that great um, and then I just found a trail and I was hoping that trail would lead to the Appalachian Trail which was part of like the popular trails where all the cool kids were going um, so I started hiking and I never reached the trail the Appalachian Trail so I just hiked and hiked and hiked and hiked for what felt like nothing I didn't really see anything cool <laughs> um, and then I turned around and came back so it was, it was a pretty frustrating day um, so my second fast food uh, piece is the crispy chicken sandwich from uh, Burger King so I'm gonna give that one a try too That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so pretty frustrating day. Um, I did get rinsed off though. That felt great. I actually took some shampoo with me in the river and uh, took a bath. So I am feeling so fresh and so clean and I'm looking forward to sleeping like feeling clean going to bed so um yeah that'll be nice um i was actually cold last night so i'm going to adjust the uh, temperature um and uh so i'm not so cold i said it's a 67 but apparently it was too cold um i'm here at a uh i don't know if you can see it or not charging my or charging my car right now so I uh, can uh, use the uh, climate control again tonight. Um, my next stop is the White House, and I'm gonna head uh, right halfway there tonight, and then do the other half tomorrow morning, and uh, walk around the White House, and then head to Maryland, uh, which is Will's uh, state park. Apparently, there's a, a good lookout. Uh, spot to check out there so give that a shot um, I talked to some locals here and they said that the Delaware water gap is usually not like this but so many parks in New Jersey are still shut down and so tons of people were coming over to the Pennsylvania side and it showed it was just it was a zoo it was pretty frustrating so um, should have gotten up earlier and gotten there earlier sandwich and I will be on the way. My next stop is the White House in Washington DC.